Alright, alright, alright. Check, check, check. Yeah. Yeah. What up, players? Welcome to the Player One Podcast. I am your host, Tyrone Jr., a.k.a. Hollywood Champa. This is your first time tuning in. What up, player? If you've been here before and you decided to return, welcome back, player. As you can see, we decked out. We got a little new logo up there. Shout out to my boy, Kellen. Uh, yeah, so look. Keep it short and sweet. This episode is going to be short and sweet. What this is, is the beginning of a new segment of mine. So haven't figured out a name. The Ravens Room, presented by the Player One Podcast. Um, the Ravens Resort. Uh, the Ravens Nest by the Player One Podcast. I want you guys to help me out, figure out a name for this whole thing. But pretty much, uh, to keep it short and sweet, what I'm trying to do with this pod or this segment is lock in on the Baltimore Ravens. You know that's my squad. If you don't know, I am there every week locked in on our game specifically. I like to watch every play. And then I like to go back and rewatch highlights and such pretty much a breakdown of the game and see what i think we did great on and where we can improve and then i just want to pass my opinion forward to this segment for the podcast this will be like a whole side thing i plan to do this weekly uh right around this time tuesday want to drop on tuesday wednesdays depending on how things go uh we'll talk about what happened in the previous week And then I will give you my predictions and what I think can or should happen in the upcoming week. So right here, we are 1-0. We beat the Houston Texans to start. Uh, They had a rookie quarterback, C.J. Stroud. I just want to shout out our front seven on the defense. Um, Patrick Queen, Roquan Smith. Them boys went crazy. Uh, Besides everybody, we, we got five sacks on the quarterback. The pressure was there all game. Um, they had zero first downs to end the first quarter. I love that stat. They went for it on fourth down four times, and they only converted once. Two of those four times were fourth and one, and our defense was able to stop them. So, like, things like that, just great signs for our defense. Um, before I move any more forward, uh... I got to stop and shout out my sponsor, Season Goods. These are homemade, non-toxic, vegan candles. If you enter the code PLAYER1 on the website, all lowercase, you can get a discount and get these candles sent your way. I have a candle burning right now. Pomelo Apricot Sunrise. Ah, there you go. Even the labeling on this, like, it's, it's so official. Some of the best candles I've ever... I'm, I'm big. I'm a candle guy. Uh, I have a lot of these candles. They... Every season comes with new flavors, new smells. I suggest you take a peek. I will tag the Instagram account with this post. Check them out. I want to shout out my boy Marquise on the beat. Uh, we are still working. We haven't found the sound yet for this segment. But we are still in talk. That's my 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 music guy. If you guys need any beats or anything, this guy is a producer. He's I've known him my whole life. I want to keep it in house. Uh, the beat you heard on the intro, the beat you're gonna hear on the outro, that's him. We're gonna have something special again. I need you guys to help me create this whole. Uh, help me shape out this segment. The Ravens Room. I don't know, but uh. We have that. And then last but not least, I want to shout out my boy Kellen on the logo, uh, the new updated logo. I have this logo. I have a new, you see the badge right here? I got one. It's, it's a PW. I'm going to post it. My uh, social media accounts are going to go by the, the Raven, the Player One Ravens logo for the season. It's only right. Um, but again, pretty much this, this is a new segment. I don't want to be here too long, have you guys too long. Um, so where we are, our defense looked great. We lost our safety, Marcus Williams. Uh, we're paying this guy a good amount of money and for his second season with the team, he's hurt for a second time in a row and he's going to be gone for weeks. Uh, 
pray for a speedy recovery. I did not hear if if he tore his pec or not. They were thinking he tore his pectoral muscle, his chest muscle. Uh, I just hope he's back mid-season, towards the end of the season, because we need him. Our secondary, we are missing our one of the best cornerbacks in the league, Marlon Humphrey. He's down. He had foot surgery a little while ago. He should be back uh, in a few weeks, maybe a couple weeks. They're saying he could suit up this week. I don't want him to. Let's 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 work him in slowly. Uh, we lost our running back, my dog J.K. Dobbins. But I, I don't want to be this guy. But I don't know if we really needed him. I feel like this team, this coaching staff, kind of forced the ball to him. We usually keep like a two, three-man rotation for our running backs. He was on a holdout before the season started. Preseason goes through. We have this new young guy, uh, Keaton, Keaton Hill, I think. No, no, not Hill. Uh, Keaton something. Our rookie, young boy, he is a dog. And he was showing out in the preseason to where it seemed J.K. noticed. And he said, you know what? I'm not going to hold out. I'm going to step back in. And when they brought him back in, it seemed like we forced him into the lineup. He only had like a week and a half, two weeks. And then he's back in the starting it's Our RB1. I wasn't a big fan of that. I love him. But, like, we don't have to force it. We have Gus Edwards, Justice Hill. We can rotate however. Keep the legs fresh, but then we lose J.K. because I feel like we rushed him onto the field from his holdout. Torn Achilles. I uh, I hope. I don't know what. I hope the best for him. Um, we won our game without Mark Andrews. Zay Flowers went crazy. Our rookie wide receiver. And we didn't even have the threat of Mark Andrews. We had our third string tight end get in the game and drop a first down catch. Mark Andrews would have been there. He's not dropping that catch. If Mark Andrews is in the game, I'm sure our play calling is a bit different. I have a big dislike. Uh, it seems on third downs, we like to go to the bubble screen to Zay Flowers. And Zay had a great game. His yards after catch, he would catch the ball and then make moves and get upfield. He had a lot of those, but... I don't want to – I've seen it three times on third downs last week in our game, and I don't want to create a tendency that ob obvious. Uh, I hope – I mean, we'll see more. We didn't have a full roster. Uh, o OBJ, we tried to get him the ball. We threw the, He was targeted four times total. He had two catches, and the other two plays were defensive pass interferences because they can't guard him. So – Hey, be ready. OBJ is going to have a day. And if we throw Mark Andrews back on the field, if he comes back this week, it's going to be hard for any defense to stop the trio of Zay Flowers, OBJ, and then Mark Andrews. And that's not even counting our other guys. So good luck to y'all. Um, we had a slow start on our offense, but it's week one, so I'm not going to hold it against us. Uh, we had a few fumble, a couple fumbles. Off of just like Lamar was out here dancing, being cute. They poked the ball out. He immediately went to the coach on the sidelines like, that's my fault. But that straightened him up. We need to like, get that stuff out the way now. I know moving forward, he's going to tuck the ball. Um, there was a play out the snap. The running back went the wrong way. It was like miscommunication between the quarterback and running back to where he turned a weird way. And the running back went around and they knocked the ball out of Lamar's hand. Fumble. Um, little things like that is just reps, uh, still again, week one, Lamar didn't play any preseason. So I'm not upset about that. Uh, I think we're good though. Uh, that's, that's all I have really, uh, watch the Bengals and Browns game. I went and rewatched it and what I got from it is I, I got more out of the Browns than I did the Bengals. I've noticed, uh, Joe Burrow does not look completely healthy. He Strained his calf early in the offseason, well, training camp area, and they were saying he might miss up to five weeks. He's ready for week one. I seen him out there. There was a couple times where he was running out of the pocket. He threw the ball already, 
but then he just fell down. And it wasn't like he was falling down because defenders were coming after him. He fell down because it looked like his calf is not okay. So I don't know. He's not going to be as mobile. So for our front seven, I think we're going to get after him and cause some trouble. Uh, again, the, the Bengals have great skill players, so I fear with us lacking cornerbacks and a safety right now. They're going to try to throw the ball on us, but I do think our pressure, we were sending our linebackers left and right. We were blitzing left and right, making sacks, making causing chaos in the backfield. I do think we get that, that pressure on them. Joe Burrow's not going to have a fun day. Um, I, I'm looking forward to this game. And then what I did get, though, uh, Joe Mixon, he's still a dog. The running back for the Bengals. I hope we can contain him. And what I noticed a lot is, is irrelevant for this week, but I saw the Browns were pretty much running a spread offense the whole game. They are all in on the spread. I like to see that, but I don't know if that's going to work against Baltimore. I like to see that. Just say, I like to see that. I've seen some throws from Deshaun. Ha, <laughs> ha. Yeah, I hope we're healthy in our secondary. If they're going to run the spread, I hope we're healthy in our secondary because I think we can have a day. But that's it, man. That's all I want to do. I just want to kind of keep it quick, short, and sweet. I do think we beat the Bengals this week in Cincinnati. I don't know. I'm not throwing those scores out there. I just think we can beat them, control the game, control the tempo, our offense. I like our, our new play calls it's it's cool to see us line up in formations that look like we're gonna throw the ball and then we throw the ball it felt like last year we would line up only in run formations only and all we did was run the ball we throw out of the run for i hated it hated that misdirection peewee league offense we ran but now we have a legit play caller so i think i think the, the future is bright for our boys that's it. Hope I didn't keep y'all too long. Hope I didn't bore y'all. I'm trying. I'm, I'm building the structure of this these ep, this segment, these episodes. This is like a sidebar to the Player One podcast. Uh, but shoot, give me give me your thoughts. Do you have a name suggestion? What should I call this? The Ravens Room. I feel like that works as R R like, but. I don't know. We'll figure it out, man. Let's, it's a work in progress. we got a long season ahead, so I'm going to give y'all my opinions as we go, and we're going to see. What up, Ravens Flock? I want y'all to tune in, man. Let's, let's talk more football. There's some there's some accounts out there y'all give too much love. I said, uh-uh. Nah, it's my turn to I need to show some love, send some love this way. I've been here. Been on that. Yeah, we out. Play one podcast. Yeah.